Boston Conference semifinal round. And of course, the matchups. If the Nets hold on and win game six, they move back to Milwaukee for game seven on Sunday. Of course, if the Nets lose, it's wait till next year. Don Nelson is ready. He'll be flashing his signs, covering them up with his jacket as per usual to keep them from assistant coach John Killalay, who assisted him for six years at Milwaukee, now with the Nets. Darrell Dawkins and Alvin Lister. The Nets control the opening tip. Richardson and Birdsong in the backcourt with O'Korn up front. Buck Williams in the middle, Darrell Dawkins. Here's Birdsong. And the Nets break the seal. Nice little play. Forward screening down on both guards. Birdsong shooting only 32 of 82 for 40% in the series. Looking to get the Nets perimeter shooting on track. Here's Moncrief guarded by O'Korn. Sidney spins and goes glass too high. Lanier there for the rebound. Gets the roll. Bob Lanier averaging 13 and a half in the playoff. Third song, two covered. And here's Dockett. Hey, the Nets are hitting from the outside at least two in a row. Surprise! Good patience by Otis Birdsong. Dawkins, who had 20 points to lead the Nets on Tuesday, along with eight rebounds in 33 minutes. Of course, he had 32 in game one and 31 in game three against the Bucks. 4-2 Nets. Moncrief looking to go baseline, stumbles. Here's Dunleavy for three. High rebound, grabbed by Dawkins. Whips it out to Birdsong. The penetration, and he is bottled up. Well, did Dunleavy ever take a fall? But Sidney Moncrief reached in for the foul. The intensity, it's early to talk about it, but just coming out of the gate, there's more spunk, more drive. In their eyes, you can see their concern. Dunleavy trying to pick up the charge. I believe Sidney Moncrief reached in. Number one on Moncrief, and Birdsaw having his difficulty all year from the line, hits on the first. Well, this is an emotional club. They have to play with a certain sense of involvement or they're half a team. One out of two for Birdsong. The Nets get it back, courtesy of Michael Clore. Nets lead by three, five to two. Birdsong, great fake on Lester, drops it off looking for Dawkins. It's picked off. Here's Johnson. Splits right through Birdsong and Dawkins, stripped with the ball by O'Korn, but a foul. Mike got the hand. What Milwaukee's been able to do all during the series is take advantage of fast breaks when they present themselves. They don't force it, but that time a sieve, an opening, Marcus Johnson through the middle. 90% of the time in deliberate fashion, the Bucks just set it up and use that 24 second clock to its utmost. Marcus Johnson, 73% from the line of the playoffs, makes the second. And it's five to three nets. There's that full court pressure, and for one of the few times, Sugar Ray just sprinted up the floor. The follow by Dawkins. Buck Williams trying to help out. Lanier rips it away. Moncrief. This is Johnson tied up by Richardson. Oh, what a block by Buck Williams. O'Corin tangled up by Marcus Johnson from behind for the foul. Buck Williams just sensational. Great effort. You can see the mismatch there. Michael Ray and down underneath Buck Williams. Two minutes gone by in the first, and that's up 5-3. There's the switch inside. Now Lanier on Williams. Here's Dawkins posting Lister. Pretty move. Didn't get the roll, but he drew the foul. Uh, one of the few times in the series now with the switch going to Dawkins on Lister. And they have to look for that, Steve. The Nets have not been able to get it in deep. Number one on Lister, who had a tremendous game in game five on Tuesday with 17 points and 10 rebounds, plus his usual steady defense. Dawkins, 81% from the line in the playoffs. He's got four. The Nets are up seven to three. 9.45 of the first. Moncrief, who was held to 10 points in game one by Birdsong, but then he exploded. And offensive foul! 
foul number two on Moncrief. Oh, that's that clear out. They put everybody on the left. They hit Lanier and then run a single cut City Moncrief. Good defense. And there's an elbow on Michael Ray. A critical early play in a sense of frustration. Von Levy's been able to aggravate Michael Ray Richardson. That good defense by Otis Birdsong to push off on City Moncrief. Almost like nullifying penalties and the Bucks take over. Well, Michael Ray has to relax and be calm. Michael Dunleavy's going to haunt him during the evening. Dunleavy thought about a three-pointer. Here's Lanier, and he travels. So the Nets in a 7-3 lead with the ball. Some pressure that is broken easily. Williams and Lister are battling. Here's Buck. Now that's something we didn't see much of on Tuesday. They weren't looking for him, and of course Lister, outstanding defensively, is a factor also. Speaking of defense, quickly Don Nelson as Harvey catching off the bench. Nine to three, Nets by six, whistle. Three seconds. Here comes the former net and shot block specialist Harvey Catchings for Lister, who sits down with no points, one foul. Now they had Bob Lanier, and of course the centers are anticipating shots. He'll get those three-second calls. Catchings coming up the bad left knee. Missed the first four games. But Williams for the baseline. One hand grab, doubled up by Johnson. Oh, is he on fire now? Gives it to Dunleavy. What a block by Buck Williams, his second in the corner. And then the push by Catching for the foul on Milwaukee. An aroused Buck Williams. What a difference. Just tremendous pursuit. How he came up with the rebound after that block, I don't know. Here's Birdsong looking for the opening. Richardson can't find him. He's too well covered by Johnson. They go the other way with eight on the shot clock. The turn and move. Bucking. Set up with that pump fake. Good sound basketball. They know he can make that jump shot. Darryl Dawkins able to put it on the floor and blow by. And with that, Bucks trying to get organized. Timeout for the Bucks. Timeout of the floor with a score. The Nets, 11. And the Bucks, 3. <laughs> Darryl Dawkins, part of the... Attacked by the Nets here in the opening minutes. They lead it 11 to 3, 8 10 to go in the first. Here's Dunleavy looking around. Good defense here by the Nets, tying up the Bucks, catchings from the baseline. Nice. Of course, the Bucks were happy to get him back. He gives them more flexibility up front, particularly in guarding Buck Williams. His 10th year at a Harden Simmons. 11 to 5, Nets. O'Corin with the high rebound, and it's batted by Catchings. Here's Lanier. Marcus Johnson, the double pump. Fans wanted to travel. Well, they've been trying to entice Marcus Johnson into that jump shot. And if he can start nailing for the Bucks, it could harm the Nets' chances. And the Bucks within four, 11 to seven. 7.15 to go on the first. A cutting bird song. Not a bad pick by Buck Williams. Took half of the front line down with him. Otis looking to recapture his touch from the outside, and he's got five. 13 to seven net. Shot clock down to six. Johnson. And Catchings with the offensive rebound. Drills it out to Moncrief. And off the penetration, threw up a wild shot. Another offensive grab. Here's Johnson. Wings it into Lanier. Fans screaming for three seconds, and they get their whiff. Stan Allback helping. Chris Don Nelson a little upset with some of the calls. A quick pass to any other end. But the Bucks able to regroup on defense just as quickly. 
Here's the turnaround move. Oh, Dawkins slipping in. Oh, what a block by Lanier. And it was followed by O'Corin. Where's the beef? The two big people down on the floor and alert Mike O'Corin with the follow-up. Lanier actually had his back to the play when he made that block. Beautiful effort. Of course, the Nets were on the ball onto the floor. Didn't come up with anything, but they were able to take advantage into Daryl Dawkins. Showing a lot more aggressiveness here in game six, 15 to seven. In and out for Dunleavy, Marcus Johnson though. Slapped out of bounds off the net. Quick hands. Junior Bridgman is now into the ball game. He is instant offense. Uh, Bob Lanier not known for his shot blocking, but coming over, he had switched on to Buck Williams. And as you mentioned, backhand getting a piece of that ball. Sedley Moncrief didn't score. He sits down with two personals. Lanier on the misfire, but it's chased down by Bridgman. Dunleavy given no ground by Richardson. Lanier muscling in for the running left hander. Made that move the other night with the dribble, maybe three or four bounces, so showing some youthful exuberance. Bob Lanier. Bob Lanier at 35. Has four. 15 to nine net. O'Corn against Marcus Johnson. The crossover move for the running left hander. Uh, Mike O'Corn's game is on the run for penetration. Marcus Johnson going for the little dribble move. O'Corn has four. 17-9 nets. 4.55 on the first. Here's Bridgman. Tied up, double teamed, and Birdsong dropped off to catch Dunleavy. That was a three-point try. Oh, what a ferocious rebound by Buck Williams, and he gave catchings an elbow in the process. Great save by O'Corin. And then Bridgman gobbles it up for Dunleavy. And Catchings, who just got up from the elbow, is fouled by Birdsaw. Great effort by Otis Birdsaw getting down the floor. Unfortunately for the Nets, Michael Corin laughing at himself. He and Darrell Dawkins exchanging pleasantries. He got caught under the backboard and alert Mike Dunleavy finding Harvey Catchings and great speed exhibited by Otis Birdsaw to get back. So Harvey Catchings will step up for the first time in the series. It's only his second game. Coming off the bad knee. Played seven minutes in Milwaukee on Tuesday and didn't score but had a couple of rebounds and just made a general test of, his, of himself as far as the Nets are concerned. 17-10 Nets. Michael Corrin exuding confidence here in the first quarter. Here's Birdsong off the spin move. Oh, he's hot. Oh, he's been taking advantage on that down and through. They've been switching. Otis has ended up with Mike Dunleavy. He's able to shoot over him. And Birdsong now has seven. And it's 19 to 10 nets, their biggest lead, nine. Screen down for Bridgman. Pretty pass into Lanier, and look out. Grab by Okora, nice gesture by Okora to held on to try to save Lanier from falling. That's a nice little play on the switch. Lanier had screened down, and, and as Lanier screened down, of course, the switch, he found himself wide open. And as you mentioned, nice play by both people. Don Nelson inserting Pressy and Lister as Catchings and Dunleavy sit down. Number two on Okora. Another whippet of a pass that's grabbed by Bridgman for the fall away. Everybody got a piece of it. Finally, Lanier. He is tough. Nets played good defense on the glass. Didn't come up with the ball. Six for Lanier. 19 to 12 Nets. The acceleration by Birdsong stops. Pops doesn't drop. And it's grabbed by Pressy. Pressy zigzagging into the lane. Then unleashes for Bridgman the bomb. I mentioned the other night, Bridgman, a definite threat to this club is, is versatility, and you can't leave him alone for a moment. And he always played well against the Nets during the season, average 21 with a couple of 30-point efforts. Birdsong, not there. Offensive rebound, but a push-off by Buck Williams. That time, Darrell Dawkins had his man pinned. Otis Birdsong could have dumped it down low, let Darrell Dawkins make a play. 
Instead, it's personal number one on Buck Williams as Paul Mokeski comes in. Marcus Johnson to the bench. He leaves with three and one foul. 19 to 14, Nets by five, 305 of the first. Pressing with Richardson. This is Bridgman on the weave to Moncrief. Seven on the timer. Lister in the Moncrief. Just threw it up for grabs. Buck Williams down the bird song. That should be a blocking foul as Bridgman stepped in on Birdsong. Oh, there wasn't a break there either. Otis Birdsong could have backed it out. Fortunate to get the foul. So it's number one on Bridgman. And there's a timeout on the floor with a score. With 2.43 remaining in the first, the Nets, 19, the Bucks, 14. <laughs> Well, the Nets lead it by five. They've led uh, throughout here in the first, 19 to 14, their biggest lead nine. They've been hitting from the outside, which is something that was absent over the last few games. 2.43 to go in the first. Duncan, the mascot, ubiquitous as ever. What a vocabulary. Big words tonight. Yeah. Up for the ball game, Steve Albert. And Otis Birdsong seems to be as well. He's two for three from the line, and he has eight. With the Bucks, you get into the habit of looking at the scoreboard. Points are very important. Ooh. When they hold the Nets under 100, which they have, they've lost. They held the Nets to 82, a playoff low for the Nets on Tuesday night. 20 to 14 Nets. Bridgman can't get anywhere against O'Corin. McKeskey from the outside. What happened, Darrell Dawkins tried to hedge there and help Michael O'Corin. He can't leave McKeskey alone. Good jump shooter. He has improved immensely on that jump shot. And the Buck Williams. The tip by Dawkins soaring in, but nothing. Nets by four. Bridgman the pull-up. Not a bad play there. Back screen by Darrell Dawkins. Freeing Buck Williams. Couldn't convert. Two-point game with two minutes left in the first. 28 to Richardson's been fairly quiet. Into Dawkins for the turnaround. Richardson trying to keep it alive. Here's Moncrief. Oh, he slipped. Walking. The Lister's been in his zone the last two times. Darrell Dawkins had the ball. He's been standing in the three-second lane. So far, they have saddled Moncrief in the first quarter. He has come up empty. Williams from the outside. Nobody there for the rebound. Oh, and Pressy hesitated for that split second, and he traveled. Uh, he saw Alton Lister, but by the time he went to pick the ball up, he was covered. Wishing he could have that all over again. Men and a half in the first. Nets lead at 28 feet. Dawkins getting position on McKeskey, but then squandering the opportunity. In a little bit too deep. Bridgman with the head and shoulders move. And Don Nelson wants goaltending, but not the court. Just a foul. The ball hit the side of the backboard, but Buck Williams was up as high as the top of the backboard. Pumped up. That's number three on O'Corris. And here's a switch in strategy. Okay, they went with Dawkins. Jaminski for Dawkins. Did you think they were playing big? I thought maybe... Yep, they were going to go with the big lineup, but King entering. Albert King, uh, on a delayed basis, came into the ball game and threw us off. We thought Cheminsky might be coming in for a court. But now King inserted as well for Mike as Dawkins sat down for Cheminsky. And Bridgman hits the first. Excellent foul shooter. 83% in the playoff. He has six off the bench. We're tied at 20 with 110 left in the first. Nets should keep that confidence because they're getting the ball in tight for good shots. If they can keep it up, it's going to pay some dividends. Under a minute. Richardson says, why not? First field goal for Michael Ray, who's been battling an assortment of ailments during this playoff series. His ankle, his heel, and his hand. Nets regain the lead. 
Might be a bump on Michael Ray Richardson. Well, the problem there is Stan Holbeck unhappy with the delay call. Nets off to the races, and it sort of negates their flow. Richardson giving Garrison a piece of his mind. Garrison giving him the stare. The evil eye. Moncrief in pursuit of his first point. Over the last three, he is hit on 36 of 42 from the line. Not bad. Not good. He seems to be, I know it's early, but a little bit out of sync right here. Sydney normally gets into the flow of things. Like to post them up to get him into the game. Haven't been doing that early. He makes one of two. That's his first point of the night. Michael Race speed dribbling the ball up the floor. And releases. Lister battles with King. They'll jump it up. Good aggressive play by King just off the bench. You can see that's been discussed. Get the ball over the timeline as fast as you can. That's doing a little better in that category. King looking to recapture his outside touch. Only 15 for 51 in the series, 41%. He'll jump it with the much taller Lister. And Bridgman has it. Checks the clock, 28 seconds. Lister can run. He had beaten everybody down. They passed him by looking for that final shot. Great athlete. 6'11 and a half, 240. Shot clock down to seven. Pressy, the give to Moncrief. Bridgman. Oh, can he shoot? Can't leave him alone. Final shot time, five seconds. The Bucks by a one. The acceleration. Stutter step by Richardson. One second to go. Got it. Not a bad quarter in terms of flow. Bucks hanging tough. A buzzer beater to end the first for Michael Ray Richardson. That's the end of the first period with a score. The Nets, 24. The Bucks, 23. It took that jump shot by Michael Ray Richardson at the buzzer to give the Nets uh, more than their average has been during the series. They've been averaging just 22 and change in the first quarter, but yet the numbers can be very misleading because I thought, as I'm sure you did, uh, that was the best first quarter the Nets have played in this series. Now Milwaukee, not the kind of team to get uh, depressed, if you will, or rattled when things don't go right. But after a quarter, we got an equal game, not just on the scoreboard, but in terms of play. That's something the Nets have not been able to do in most of this series. Stephen Bell. All right, thanks, Bob. Mike Jeminski in the lineup. Next to Paul Mokeski, Darwin Cook has been inserted as well in the backcourt for the Nets. The Nets have dug themselves early holes in the last two games, trying to stay close with the Central Division champion, the Milwaukee Bucks. 24-23 Nets as we begin the second. Bridgman, he was hacked by King. Well, that's that hide-and-seek play where Moncrief will fake a shuffle cut off the high post and duck back, and on the weak side, they have Lister screening down on Bridgman, and he was free. Number one on King. Junior Bridgman, two for two of the line. He has eight points. Averaging just under 14 in the playoffs. A little bit under his seasonal average. Perennial leading scorer among NBA reserves. Of course, he ends up playing almost 29 minutes of ball game. <laughs> As it turns out, sometimes more than the starters. 10 points for Bridgman. He's the high man of the game. 25-24 bucks. Nets led by as much as nine in the opening quarter. Bridgman, good defensive play. Ten on the shot clock. Jeminski losing the handle, but it was last touched by Morkeski. Now they have five on the shot clock. Watch as they jockey for position. Three, Richardson in traffic. And Bridgman's got it. Good screen out by all the Bucks. Again, the good day by Milwaukee, just like Tuesday. City Moncrief had taken Cook down low. Might look for that. Pressy, pretty. First bucket for Paul. 
And the Bucks by three, their biggest lead, 27 to 24, with 10.50 left in the second. Cook, three-pointer, nothing. Lister, down to Bridgman. And a run by Milwaukee, they lead by five. Uh, tough shots, you can say good defense. They forced Michael Ray into a long jump shot with Sidney on his side. That time Darwin Cook teed it up from three-point range. Nobody back to protect. Not good basketball, and it doesn't take long for the Bucks to take advantage. Well, they're up 29 to 24 with this 22nd timeout. And this copyrighted telecast presented by authority of the New Jersey Nets and is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any publication, reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this game without the express written consent of the New Jersey Nets and Sports Channel is prohibited. Announcers on this broadcast are selected by Sports Channel and approved by the New Jersey Nets. All right, with 10.38 remaining in the first half, Nets down by five. Here's Buck Williams double teamed and it worked again, the defense. The pressing D by Milwaukee and a pretty pass from Moncrief to Bridgman. A seven to nothing run by Milwaukee, putting them up 31-24. Oh, some errant pass work here by the Nets, but they got a break there as Moncrief committed his third foul. And right away, the substitutions. Stan Holbeck not waiting. Jaminski and Richardson go out. Birdsong and Dawkins return. Here comes Marcus Johnson back from Milwaukee. As Moncrief sits down, having his problems with three fouls and only one point. Now a traveling violation. Albert King unsteady. Daryl Dawkins dropped back on defense now. Two minutes gone by in the second, 31-24 bucks. Trying to wrap up the series in six. That's trying to send it back to Milwaukee for game seven Sunday. Pressy gets the roll. They're so interchangeable, all their people. Other than Dunleavy, they all can play forward and guard. Defensively, it's ideal to switch because they don't have many mismatches. And now Bill Stan Ovek wants to talk it over. Timeout on the floor with the score. The Bucks 33, the Nets 24. Buck Williams is on the floor. 33 to 24. The Bucks out to their biggest lead. Nine with 9.40 left in the second. First one gets the step on Bridgman. Otis showing signs of life here. He's got 10. And hitting from the outside. And the Nets down by seven. Alley -oop. Oh, brother was out of beauty. Pressing to Johnson. Well, Albert King unable to see the ball and the man was caught. And I guess Stan Albeck didn't enjoy the play. They've worked on it. Michael Corn up off the bench. Bucks by nine again. They swing it around the perimeter of King. They need him. And Buck Williams lets it slide out of his hands, but it's last touch by Milwaukee. And Stan Albeck now sending Michael Corn in for Albert King. King sits down with no points, one foul. O'Korn wasting no time. And the rebound, McKeski. Pressy is met by Cook. Cook steals the ball. Going all the way, and he is hammered. It's Pressy. Well, Darwin Cook's one of the people, of course, Michael Ray the other, that can harass the guards, and of course, Paul Pressey struggles a little bit when Darwin Cook starts attacking him. Of course, Cook was in the top 10 in steals in the NBA this year and had the season high for one player, nine in one game. First trip to the line, 73% in the playoffs. Halfway down. We're going to co-author a book called it One Out of Two. <laughs> it's been that way all year. 35 to 27 bucks, eight and a half to go in the second. Yeah. 
Bridgman, the fadeaway with Birdsong in his face. Rebound Dawkins. Looking for the touchdown heave. Instead goes to Birdsong. Now here's Cook. Birdsong, the high-stepping dribble off to a cutting Cook into the lane, and Buck Williams didn't expect it. One pass too many. Soft layoff would have been easier. you got to be able to catch the basketball, so the passer has to be careful. The looping three to Pressy couldn't hold on. Mistakes at both ends. And the Nets hurry it up. Down the floor to O'Corrin. And Dawkins is fouled and then saved by Lister. Mike O'Corrin right away getting it in. And I enjoy a club that when a big man has his man pinned, get it in. Let him make the decision or the judgment on what he can do or can't do. And Darrell Wisey moving to the ball to create less room for error. Number two on Lister. Dawkins two for two. He now has seven. Eight points for Daryl Dawkins. Brings the Nets within six. 35 to 29. Seven, 45 and a half. And the pressure again by Cook on Pressy. Stole the ball last time down. Shot clock at six. Bridgman. Three on the shot clock. Pressy had to force it. Rebounded by Birdsong. Cook straight down the middle. Buck Williams off the hesitation. Tough goal, Steve. But again, mismatches in a sense of loose, open people when they push the ball up the floor. So Buck Williams has four, and the Nets within four. 35-31, seven minutes and a half. Marcus Johnson bumps and pumps. Out it comes to a stumbling Birdsong. Three on one. Birdsong to Cook. Set up by the defense. And the house enjoyed it. The Mets coming alive after trailing by nine. Now within two. Off the tidal wave down the floor. And there's a timeout on the floor with a score. The Bucks 35 and the Nets 33. Right now, the Nets doing to the Bucks what the Bucks have done to the Nets throughout this series, and that's challenged the shot with a little more aggression, hence a much more difficult shot. Uh, perhaps the difference of three or four inches in terms of the shooter, but those three or four inches in terms of forcing just a bit versus shooting an open shot. Even though. All right, thank you, Bob. With 6.43 remaining in the first half, the Bucks lead it by two, 35 to 33. It's funny, Bill, at times the Nets seem to revert to mid-season form when they make some mistakes, and then they look brilliant. It's like so Jekyll and hyde -ish. Well, everybody has to be reminded, and, and this club seems to, they need to be reminded more, more often by the coaches, and, and they don't push the ball up with regularity. I think that's Stan Albeck's style, even after a miss, and they have to be reminded. You can see the one day's practice of even after a miss, pushing the ball up the floor, which is his style, getting the ball into a shooting area as quickly as they can. All right, Mike Dunleavy back into the ball game. Trying to ignite some spark into the box, which he is very capable of doing. McKeskey, shot clock at three. Look at this shot. Three-point try off the force, and here's O'Corrin. Dawkins. Back to O'Corrin. Back to Dawkins. And then Dunleavy comes to help McKeskey out for the jump ball. I'll tell you, right now, Mike O'Corrin's getting it in whenever he can to Darrell Dawkins. Michael Dunleavy with excellent trap there. Somewhat of a mismatch. Quick hands. Learn that trade in Brooklyn. Nazareth High School in Brooklyn. So the smallest guy at 6'3", Mike Dunleavy, against 6'11", Darrell Dawkins. 
And you can be sure Dunleavy will give it his best. Should be between Birdsong and Cook. And it's grabbed by Cook. In the docket. Muscles up on Linnaeus. The take advantage. Stepping into the three-second lane and pinning his man. The pass delivered on time. Ten points, Dawkins, Steele, Cook. Nets can take the lead. And we do. Pressure defense. First on Pressy, now on Michael Dunleavy. Second steal for Cook. The Nets recapture the lead, 37-35, after trailing by nine. 5.40 in the second. Here's Marcus Johnson. Intimidated by Buck Williams. Out of bounds to the Bucks. Good help there by Otis Birdsong. Marcus Johnson getting down deep on Michael Carr. They've got a fresh 24. Lister takes a peek. Cook with some good day. Then Dunleavy slipped in behind him. Gets his own bound. Then Marcus Johnson rescues. Three seconds. Look to be Lister in the lane. And a turnover. Bucks are doing a good job on the glass, though. Came up empty that time. And Cook with a set play. Let's see who breaks for the pass. Dawkins is trying to get free. Buck Williams short into the hands of Lanier. Is that all back out the floor, Steve? Lister. Lanier keeps it alive. And a whistle off the board work, and Dawkins is drawing at Garrettson, so looks like he just picked up number one. Now, the Nets did something they haven't been able to do all series. On the screen across down at the far end, they slid the switch. Buck Williams ended up with an easy shot, didn't convert. But the Bucks doing a good job on the glass. One of those guys is Bob Lanier. First trip to the line, 28 for 31 in the series. 90% shooter. Mike Jaminski back, replacing Buck Williams. So now they go with the two big men, the twin towers of New Jersey, Dawkins and Jaminski. Buck Williams sits with four points, one foul. Lanier makes both. He's got eight. We're tied at 37 with 450 left in the half. Cook quarterback. Birdsong is breaking clear. And they give to O'Corin for the bomb. And the rebound by Johnson. Twisting away from Cook to Dunleavy. And the traveling call on Bridgman. We've seen a lot of that. Daryl Dawkins aggressively pursuing the ball caused that turnover. Junior Bridgman, the guilty one, Don Nelson, with a grimace on his face. So the Nets look to break the tie. Dawkins punched free by Lister and the foul. He got contact. Very simple basketball at this stage. Screening across, reversing the ball and getting it down low. Something they haven't been able to do. They're just coming down and jamming it inside. No secret what was said for two hours yesterday. <laughs> Number three on Lister. And Dawkins, four for four at the line. Ten points. He got the lip. Here comes Harvey Catchings back in for Milwaukee. Lester sets with the three fouls and no points. Dawkins now six for six for the line, has 12. And the Nets lead 39-37. The Nets have the plays memorized. Cook with the reach in, almost came up with it. The play is called by Nelson. Darwin Cook turned around and informed everybody who the play was for. It was pointing at Lanier. <laughs> well versed in the Bucks' offensive scheme of things. Well, Cook going for his third steal instead of his first foul. Fans yelling for a travel on Johnson. No call. Stan Obeck going wild on the sideline. Loose ball foul. And it's on Lanier. His first. He just cleared everybody away. Well, Darryl Dawkins couldn't get one arm up. Bob Lanier using his body weight to control Darryl Dawkins. Which is 270 pounds. 
So Dawkins again to the line. Richardson getting set to report back. Here he comes for Cook. Nice defensive job by Cook. He leaves with five points, two steals. Good spark. Dawkins six for six. Eight for eight for the line. He has 14. And it's 41-37. That's by four. 3.50 to go in the first half. Johnson with people in front and behind. That's some play. Tough goal. Seven for Marcus. Beautiful move by Birdsong. The get to Jaminski. Penetration setting that up. Mike Jaminski reading it, sliding to the open spot. First field goal for Jaminski, who had his career playoff high of 20 points to save the day for the Nets in game four. And the Nets by four. Here's Lanier posting, whips it out to Bridgman. Marcus Johnson for the strong rebound. It trickles out. What a pass to Lanier. I don't believe that pass. It teeters on the rim. Catchings with an exquisite pass. And then the foul. The foul is on Marcus Johnson. Sensational play there. <laughs> Hustle by the Bucks. Playoff time. Harvey Catchings. This should have been an assist. Bob Lanier unable to get the roll. Ooh. Heartburn for the Bucks. So Jaminski travels to the other end. First visit at the line. Sidney Moncrief yet to score a field goal back in. G-Man struggling from the line. Four for eight in Milwaukee and one of the premier net free throw shooters. 80% during the season. He misses both. Does not have the touch the line. So it remains 43-39. Nets 255 in the half. Dunleavy sat down for Moncrief. Michael Ray can't leave Bridgman. And he did. Junior. And the rebound by Lanier. And the steal by Dawkins are calling a foul. You notice the Nets are not complaining at all to the officials. In other games, I think it took them out of the game. Instead of concentrating on basketball, they just concern themselves too much with the officials. In one game, Nolbeck said that he was out of sync. Get on the officials. Here's the steal by Mokeski. Good read defensively. Pretty pass work by the Bucks and Bridgman connect. He has 16 to lead the Bucks in scoring. 43-41 Nets, 2-10 in the half. Bridgman all over Birdsong for the violation. That's his second. This is the best flow they've had offensively, Steve, and that's because they're pushing it, creating more things, and obviously Stan Albeck has them screening away inside and looking for each other in low. There he is. Stan Albeck, his first year with the Nets, leading them into the... Eastern Conference semifinals and Otis Birdsong returning to form at the foul line where he had his difficulty during the season. He's now two for five this evening. Three out of six. He's got 11. Don Nelson yells out of play. It's 44-41 nets. There's your two-minute indication. Don Nelson very upset on the sideline. Here's Marcus Johnson wiggling in on Okorin. And Jaminski yanks it down. Bucks getting a lot of chances. The physical play continues. Birdsong. And again, patience. Michael Ray without an opening backed it off. Darrell Dawkins had posted up. Good giveaway. Dotis Birdsong.
Otis Birdsong finding the hot hand again. He's got 13. The Nets by five. 115 in the half. Lanier, the block by Jaminski. Here's Birdsong. The stutter step. Looking left wing to Dawkins. Batted out by Milwaukee. Nice look, too. Everybody filling the lane. Otis doing the right thing, keeping the dribble. But G-Man saving the basket with good activity on the defensive end. And now Paul Pressey speaking of defense in for Moncrief. And Daryl Dawkins and Bob Lanier are getting to know one another. And there isn't any music. Back live Richardson off the side of the rim. The long pump by Mokeski is Bridgman for the head and fake. And good tie up by Richardson. Junior Bridgman doesn't agree with you, but <laughs> Ulysses Bridgman. There he is. Ninth year out of Louisville. 19 on the timer. Nets by 5, 55 seconds and a half. And the Nets come up with it off the inbound. Here's O'Corin racing with Johnson. Blocked by Johnson. Michael Korn's leg went out from under him. You can see him go down as Johnson went up. Open up by Dawkins. And recovered. Pressy for three. Rebound Bridgman and the Bucks continue to get opportunity. I'm not so sure. There's a mismatch with Johnson and Sugar Ray Richardson. I'm not so sure Pressy was told to take that three-pointer. And Lanier in for the easy two-pointer. He has 10. And it's 46-43 Nets. 15 seconds to go. Richardson takes a look. Bird song. With Bridgman in his face as the buzzer sounds. Close one. Another low scoring affair. So what else is new in this series? That's the end of the first half. With the score. The New Jersey Nets, 46, and the Milwaukee Bucks, 43. Moncrief, who has yet to score a field goal. This is Lanier. Nowhere to go, and three seconds. Paul Lister had set up camp. Sidney Moncrief on a play from the bench. He has only one point with three early fouls. There's a steal by Moncrief. Down to Johnson, one man back, O'Corn, the trailer, Moncrief. And the blocking foul by O'Corn. Mike O'Corn punished for trying to play good defense. Good looking dish off and the finish by Sidney Moncrief. The steal here. Of course, the Nets use the small forward to set up some of their plays out at the top. Mike drawn first to Johnson, Sidney Moncrief punishing Michael Corn. So Moncrief starts the play and then finishes the play. Number four on O'Corn. Moncrief has three, one for two from the line. And we're tied at 46 off the three-point play to begin the third quarter. Richardson and Birdsong back with Dawkins. O'Corn and Williams up front. Richardson had only four at the half. This is Dawkins. Five on the timer. Richardson in heavy traffic. Three on the shot clock. Dawkins slides to his right and barrels in. Beat the clock, but it wouldn't go down. Don Levy. And Lanier rolls it home. Not a bad run. Of course, he knew he had the advantage. Darrell Dawkins down underneath after that finger roll. 12 for Lanier. And the Bucs regain the lead, 48-46, third song. Kept alive by Richardson, but then it's corralled by Dunleavy, down to Johnson. And the Bucs are running. Block, O'Corn and Williams helping out, and then Moncrief is mugged. Oh, did he get shattered on the top of the noggin? It's Buck Williams with his second. And out of the gate, the Bucs are strong. Good defense by Buck Williams, and unfortunately, the ball ends up in Sidney Moncrief's hands, and the foul. So the Bucks by two, minute and a half gone by on the third. 
Alioz to Johnson, it works again. Back screen, Sidney Moncrief setting that up. And a quick 20 second timeout for the Nets. The defense is not alert, giving up the easy one. And John Kelly right away talking to Michael Korn about that particular play. But Buck Williams is not involved in the game, right out of the gate. And this is the back screen, Otis Birdsong trying to help out. Of course, City Moncrief was his man. Once again, Marcus Johnson, the recipient of nice pass. And the Islanders battle Wayne Gretzky and the Edmonton Oilers in game two of the Stanley Cup final Saturday night at seven. Well, you can see history in the making as the fifth Stanley Cup comes within the Islanders' reach exclusively on Sports Channel. Bucks by four, 50-46, following the 22nd timeout. 10-17 left in the third. Stan Albeck takes a big gulp, and Don Nelson in his usual position. Uh, the Nets play in spurts, and the Bucks are steady. Sustained attacks by Milwaukee. Third song connect. 15 for Otis. First bucket of the second half. Nets down by two. Moncrief trying to get to the offensive flow. Lanier. What a pass to Johnson, and he blew it. Lanier doesn't give up. Birdsong tracks it down, loses to Dunleavy. It is frantic. Marcus Johnson shovels it over to Moncrief, who is tackled by O'Corin, who picks up his fifth foul. That's a tough turn of events. Otis Birdsong, of course, the first object is to get the basketball. Otis never got control. Here he should have really picked it up. That's like trying to shoot the ball before you catch it. Important out in the open court and pretty play by Marcus Johnson once again and Michael Cornell out of the game for Albert King. Michael Cornell looking like a defensive back on that play. Plays with the five fouls, Moncrief. Three out of four from the line, he has five. Interesting to see if Albert King gets on track now. He has yet to score. 15 for 51 in the series. One out of two, Sydney. 51-48, Bucks by three, 9.35. King somehow managed to hold on. Richardson. Six for Michael Ray, but that's within one. Now they're bringing everybody out. Play a two or three man game on the far side. Moncrief rolls past everybody. Oh, what a left hand jam. Now you won't see that play too often in your lifetime. <laughs> Sensational. Actually stepping on Darrell Dawkins back to get that extra inch or two in the air. This could be on Buck Williams. Backing in on Paul McKeskey. Number three on Williams. Of that spectacular jam by Moncrief. Bucks by three, 53 50. Lanier whistles it over to Mokeski. This is Bridgman. Moncrief off the wheel. Well, he has suddenly come alive. And that was some shot with Otis Birdsong on his side. Concentration. Nine points for Moncrief, eight here in the third. 55 50 bucks. King. Mokeski. Darrell Dawkins just flipped his mouthpiece to the floor. Marcus Johnson, the reverse. It is blocked by Dawkins. Don Nelson calling for a foul. No call. Here's Richardson challenging Mokeski. Look out. On pass game, Michael Ray may have gone after his reporter, but this time, cooler heads prevailing. Well, under control there, Paul Mokeski giving it. Of course, I think the NBA is going to take a look at this rule. Very tough. Some of these great players getting injured on a giveaway. We're just assuming uh, if Sugar Ray hit that, his head on that pole would have been a tough thing to recover from. But Albert King forcing the shot, not in position. He really wants to score instead of letting the play happen. Richardson's first trip, he was 9 for 10 from the line in game 5. Makes one out of two here. He has seven. And the Nets down by four. 55-51, 8-10 on the clock in the third. Moncrief checks out the three-point line. 
And prior to the shot, they've got a foul on Birdsell. His second. Non-shooting. Fourth team foul. Albert King trying to handcuff Marcus Johnson a little too aggressive on the play for the foul is second. Well, Albert should let him dribble because the Nets over the limit early with eight minutes remaining. <laughs> so Marcus Johnson steps up with his one for two and he has nine points. His seventh year at a UCLA perhaps destined for Hollywood someday after his basketball career is over. Has thoughts about being an actor. He has 11 points. The third. Ray Richardson. And the ball is thrown away by Birdsong as Dawkins was knocked down out of the play. Stan Olb, I can't believe it because what happened is Daryl Dawkins posted up. Bob Lanier did as all big men will. Grabbed hole. And now the drag down. Actually, there's no way the offensive man can recover to get the pass. So they were upset over at the Nets bench thinking that Dawkins had been fouled but no call. 57 51 bucks 740 in the third Marcus Johnson all the way for the scoop goal ten and Dawkins. Albert King hugging his man should step back another foot let him dribble the basketball he's not going to hurt you bouncing the ball so 13 for Johnson no question the goaltending and the bucks by eight Often Lister, actually a formidable defensive player without the size. He gets good position. That time the reach down, the clutch by Buck Williams. That is number four on Lister. So Buck Williams steps up for the first time, shooting only 50% of the playoffs. Getting the benefit. It's 59 52 bucks 715 to go on the third Here's McKeskey driving and oh brother they're calling that on Dawkins McKeskey with a strong move I believe Dow Dawkins was moving his legs though stuck the shoulder in see if the feet are planted you can still in motion house charge Referee clock. I thought he had possession. But that's why I'm sitting here. We haven't agreed all year. <laughs> why should we start now? As Catchings comes in. And Alvin Lister sits. Lister hasn't scored four foul. So here's McCaskey. Shooting only 53% in the playoffs. Fifth year out of Kansas. And he makes both. With his solid play, it gives him a chance to rest Lanier. And of course, Lister with the fouls. Now with catchings back. Much tougher front line. So the Nets have called time as the Bucks equal their largest lead nine. Seven minutes left in the third. There's a timeout of the floor with a score. The Bucks 61. And the Nets 52. Go tell us, Horsak, you know, we, we talk about all the subplots in this game, but right now it seems to me if you had to pick one dimension, it's got to be that rebounding. If the Nets are going to play good defense, which they did in limiting Milwaukee to a 37% shooting average in that first half, that's just half the job. Now they've got to go in and get the ball, too. Milwaukee got as many offensive rebounds, almost as many, 13, as the Nets got rebounds in that first half. They had 16. So right now, it's got to be, from the next point of view, one shot, and a white shirt has to come up with it. Steven. All right, thanks, Bob. The Nets are down by 9, 61-52. We'll take a look. 
at some play. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, that will be used in a commercial for the NBA next year at some point. Unbelievable leaping ability by Sidney Moncrief. He just kept climbing. The Nets fans trying to arouse the Nets. 6.50 to go in the third, third song. Gives it off to Dawkins. And he is crunched by catching. What amazes me in, in this league is how they're able to switch hands. You saw the Moncrief dunk there with catchings coming over. Sensational left hand, a good dish off there. And keeping the ball away from the defense, Darrell Dawkins. Dawkins is eight for eight from the line. The foul number two on catching. Ten for ten from the line, he is 16, and it's 61-54, Milwaukee with 6.40 to go in the third. Johnson over King, not there. And the rebound by catching. Where were the Nets? Here's Montreux getting the step on Birdsaw. He is so quick, but there the Nets with the look away by Dawkins. Richardson down to Birdsaw for the left-hander. Terrific bounce pass, too. And Daryl Dawkins with a great fake on the outlet. Looked one way, this to Richardson. He has really mastered that look away outlet pass. 17 for Birdsaw, and the Nets are within five. Six minutes to go in the third. Johnson, sorry, Steve. Johnson with a mismatch. Now Catching's having trouble with five on the shot clock, and it's thrown away. Johnson was wide open too. What had happened? Michael Ray was on him, and then left him. Don Nelson is just beside himself. He wanted to get, I guess, Lanier into the game and couldn't. Bird song underneath the doctor. That's almost like a give and go. Otis Birdsong finding Darrell Dawkins. Good cut to the goal. And the Nets within three after trailing by nine. Dawkins has 18, 61, 58 bucks. Five and a half to go in the third. Five on the shot clock. Here's McKeskey off to Bridgman. And a grab. Richardson is livid. Face Mike. to face with Garrison. He's closing in on a technical. He's got it. So that's one thing the Nets have to stay away from. You can't get involved with the officials. You've got to play your game. Michael Ray, it's sort of a so what foul. I mean, there's nothing really to get excited over. Ref referee Dow Garrison is standing right there. Self-control, important. Well, that's his third. And Moncrief steps up for the technical foul shot. He's getting the treatment from the crowd. Ten points for Sydney, and it's the Bucks by four. Five nineteen on the clock in the third. Now Marcus Johnson shooting the foul. He's three for four from the line, and he is thirteen. Well beyond the rim by Dawkins. With Flair, how many people palm a rebound? You're the only one I can think of. Richardson. McKeskey lost the ball. Albert King getting a hand in there, but you can see a wall of green doing a terrific job sealing off the Bucks. Richardson, little trouble, got into Birdsong for the quick relief. And the rebound, Mokeski. He wings it down to Johnson. A quick bounce pass to Bridgman. No, and Buck Williams grabs the easy rebound. Richardson the other way. Cuts it on Lanier and then backs off wisely. Michael Ray into Dawkins for the turnaround. Well, Darrell Dawkins wants the basketball. That's an important aspect of the game. Who wants it when it's getting tough? Another effective game for Dawkins with 20. And the Nets within three. Four and a half left in the third. 63 60 bucks.
And the call is on Dawkins. He did a good job helping out number four on him. What he did was he read the play, got there late, no question about the foul. It's number four, and G-Man will be in shortly. He's actually reacting well, but with that big body, ended up clipping Junior Bridgman. And he is feeling the effects of that bump as Jaminski replaces Dawkins. Darrell Lee is with 20 points and four personal. This Michael Jaminski has to come up with another, another A game. He had that tremendous performance in game four. Here's Bridgman. Now five for five from the line and has 17 points. Eighteen for Bridgman, 65, 60 bucks. 420 left in the third. Here's a set play by Richardson. Dunleavy being escorted to midcourt by Don Nelson. Here's the pick by Jaminski. King can't dump it, but the foul. Well, they ran that, excuse me, Steve, they ran that little bump. Otis popped out, and then they screened down for Albert King, and that's one of the few open jump shots he's had. He has yet to connect. Marcus Johnson sits down with the 14 points and three fouls. Dunleavy in. King's first trip shooting 71%. And it's 65, 61 bucks. Here's Lanier. Jaminski, outlet King. Richardson. Rebound, Buck Williams. One of the few offensive rebounds. <laughs> Dunleavy on G-Man. And they try to take advantage. They cannot. Birdsong spotted it immediately, but Jaminski couldn't throw it into the hole. Good reaction by the Bucks. Bucks by four, 315 third. Bridgman with the ball. Now Dunleavy at the point. Lanier over Jaminski. A Rattler. Offensive rebound, Moncrief. Dunleavy for three. And another rebound, Moncrief. Great reactions. And the fans beginning to dish it out. I think it's great ability more than the than Nets inability. Lanier pumps. Again, a rimmer, and this time the Nets grab it. Richardson. That's very deliberate. Blocked by Mokeski and the foul. Pretty good reactions by Paul Mokeski, though. Has he come alive for this club? That's his second. Baseline drive, and Mokeski over late. You see him grabbing both arms, but good reaction. Earlier, you thought he was slower and mobile, but pretty good reactions right now. Paul Mokeski. And Don Nelson getting a timeout. Timeout of the floor with a score. It's the Bucks, 65. And the Nets, 61. 65, 61. Bucks with 2.28 to go in the third. Here's Otis Birdsong stepping up where he's three for six and has 17. Of course, the question always arises, a terrific jump shooter, Otis Birdsong, and struggling on the free throw line. And that's the first time in a long while he's hit on two in a row. It's 65, 63, bucks by two. 2.20 to go on the third. And Otis has to concentrate on Sidney Moncrief. He's starting to attack the glass, become an important cog in the Bucks offense. Lanier with the hook over Jelinski. 14 for Lanier. And the Bucks by four. Quick release, King. Rebound, Lanier. Two minutes, two minutes. 
Less than two minutes of the third. Bridgman. Easy rebound, McKeskey. Pretty flip with the right hand. The rebounds are of the long nature, which means the guards are going to have to come down and help out. They're bouncing long. It's not the inside people's fault. The Nets continue to get clobbered off the boards. Bucks by 6, 69, 63. Minute and a half in the third. Buck Williams has not seen the ball much. Underneath, King. And the pull. First field goal, Albert King. Looks like McKeskey with his third. Over late, but Albert King's been cutting, Steve. He had come up the lane earlier and was free. Here he went ba baseline. Back behind the defender, Junior Bridgman, and McKeskey reacting late. King one for two, he has three points. Can't make it a three-point play. And the Nets down by four, 69-65. Mike Javinsky has to make a bigger stand away from that box. He's letting Lanier in too deep. Here's Lanier outside, they double up on Bob. And the quick hands of Richardson breaks it up. Eight on the shot clock. Stan over direct traffic and now Don Nelson trying to get Garrettson's attention Don Nelson wanted a legal D and of course Albert King was holding Junior Bridgman before the inbounds pass McKeskey wide open well that just adds another dimension to their attack now Buck Williams has to play him come out on him he can make that deep jumper Eight points for McKeskey, and it's 71-65. Bucks by six, 48 seconds in the third. Richardson thinks about a three, then moves in. Five on the shot clock. Birdsaw stops, pops, doesn't drop the tip by Jaminski. And the Nets may have gotten away with one there. G-Man had that hand up around the cylinder. Good break for the Nets. 71-67, Bucks. Bridgman. Agents buries it from... Far. 19 points. 73 67. Bucks by six. 13 seconds in the third. As the Nets play for the last shot. Seven seconds. Whistle. Pressing. Well, they thought the play, the Bucks thought the play was four. Otis Burns on the press. He's trying to stay close. Red hole. Darryl Dawkins on the bench with four fouls, his 20 points, watches along as Pressey picks up his second. So Birdsong to the line, and then the Bucks will have the last shot. Nets have to be ready, Steve, for a miss. Or the maid, don't give up that long half-court pass. And, of course, balance the floor. Birdsong five for eight, now for nine. Has 19 points as Lorenzo Fremar makes one of his cameo appearances, replacing Pressy. He gets a little more offensive in, in there. Romar very good with the speed dribble, Steve. He misses both. They've got a shot at it. Here's Romar. Now that'll do it. Otis Birdsong may have gotten away with a foul. We've gone three. The end of the third quarter with a score. The Bucks of Milwaukee, 73. The New Jersey Nets, 67. Bob Goldshaw at courtside, and you're seeing the same thing. What started out as a game with a number of different subplots has really evolved into something we've talked about all throughout the game. The inability of the Nets to keep the Milwaukee Bucks off the offensive boards. Uh, they're doing so many good things, the Nets are, and then Milwaukee is winding up missing the shot and coming in for two and three and sometimes even four. Uh, the fourth quarter about to go. The Nets have one quarter in which to shut down the Bucks off the boards. At that point, it's anybody's game. Stephen? All right, thanks, Bob. It has come down to the final 12 minutes. If the Nets don't survive this one, that is it. If the Bucks 
lose. We go back to Milwaukee for game seven on Sunday. Three games to two, Milwaukee. Game six, fourth quarter, 73-67 bucks. Here we go. As much as the Nets will want it, they have to play with their head. Good shots, real tough defense. Dawkins is back, he's fouled and he hit. Uh, you can see what happened between quarters. Take advantage of Daryl Dawkins. He's not only in position, he wants the basketball, he wants to do some harm with the ball. The pump and really freezing Bob Lanier and then of course the chest extended. Number two Lanier, three point play Dawkins. He's 11 out of 11, has 23, and the Nets within three, 73-70. Lanier outside with Dawkins. A call by Hugh Evans. And it's Birdsong away from the ball, his third. They had run a double screen down low for Sidney Moncrief, and oh, this Birdsong taking advantage by holding on. Lanier out high again. Bridgman, chest to chest with Kane. Moncrief fades and fires. All their players are so interchangeable. You saw Pressy in low once. He backed out, and City Moncrief took his man down. Moncrief has 12, 11 here in the second half. 75, 70 bucks. King unleashes. Oh, they need Albert King to light it up. He set his man up. He hasn't been able to use his feet properly and set his man into the screen. That time he did. King is five, the Nets down by three, a minute gone by on the fourth. Bad pass by Pressy. Grabbed by Birdsong, nearly lost it. Long fling to King, stops, pops, drop. Using the whole floor, a nice look by Otis Birdsong and maybe another King has arrived. Time out on the floor with a score. The Bucks, 75. And the Nets, 74. Well, a new complexion here. It's a one-point game. The Bucks, 75, Nets, 74, with 10.45 remaining. And Albert King beginning to light it up, which can really make a difference. And here's the concept trade on Junior Bridgman. Can't help out as much. Here's Pressy. Can't get inside on Richardson. Ten on the shot clock. Off the wave to Moncrief, who's come alive. Broken up by Birdsaw. This is Richardson. And the Nets can regain the lead. Here's Birdsaw. And he was stripped to the ball and dumped, and Lanier <laughs> picks him up. Uh, like a lightweight or a featherweight. <laughs> if you could see the face on Otis Birdsaw. Bob Lanier just holding on, picking him up like it's his son, his three-year-old son. Number three on Lanier, he's replaced by Alton Lister. Lanier sits down with 14. Lister has yet to score, he's playing with four fouls. And Birdsong to the line again, where he is five for 10. He has 19. Make it 20. And we're tied at 75. And the rebound by Johnson. 75 or 10-15 remaining in the fourth. And that's what the missed free throws are never able to put any pressure on the opponent. Can't get that edge from one to three. There's Sidney Moncrief, triple team, back outside the Bridgman, five on the shot by McKeski, nowhere to pass, and he traveled. He took a look to his left and had nowhere to go. Chris McKeski was able to go by Darrell Dawkins earlier, had that on his mind. And the Nets can recapture the lead. And the foul by McKeski. Well, that's that X play the Nets have run all year for a jump shot. But the idea is if your man that screens you is free inside, give him the basketball, and they get away from that. The overplay by McKeskey, and he 
Picks up his fourth foul. 9.49 to go. Richardson now. Kane against Johnson. The give to Dawkins. He's bottled up by McKeskey. Shoots it anyway. When in doubt, tee it up. 25 for Dawkins. And the Nets have the lead, 77 to 75. And ball. Michael Ray Richardson went over the top side of the screen and forced the loop pass and the turnover. To the defense, looking to ignite the offense. Birdsong. 22 for Birdsong of the net, three by four, and the Bucks call. The Bucks call time as the net have a run. Of course, the Bucks now will try and defuse that momentum. The Nets have to continue pushing the ball up. That's their style. And again, dump it down, particularly to Darrell Dawkins, who's in the flow. And Otis Birdsong stroking that ball as well as he has all year right now. Looking for the shot and taking advantage of the quick opening. So the Nets make it 79 to 75. That's hard to believe they both weren't ejected. Darrell Walker and Danny Ainge for the same thing were thrown out in Boston last night. Moncrief doesn't get it, but the follow is good. Johnson up pretty high. He's got 16, and it's 79 to 77 Nets with 7.30 in the fourth. Here's Birdsong, broken up by Moncrief, and somebody held somebody. Yes, sir. Moncrief. And you see Hugh Evans pulling across his face to illustrate the foul, and Otis now talking to Sidney Moncrief. I'm sure McKeskey's in the game. If he were thrown out, he would have been off the bench. Apparently so. Number four on Moncrief. Dawkins, tough shot. And underneath, Bob Lanier, a very difficult shot by Darrell Dawkins. 27 for Dawkins, and that's lead 81, 77, 705 to go. Richardson and Lister bump. The foul's on Lister. Right on top of it, Steve. That back pick they've been running. And that time, Lister for the foul. The physical play oh. continues. They've got six men on the floor now. The Bucks of six, good call. The Bucks of six on the should ball. be a technical foul. The ball was in play. Of course, I think Darrell Garrison's going to use pretty good judgment. The horn was not heard. Pressy went out on the floor, and there's the contact. Richardson running into Alton Lister. It is frantic here, and Lee Jones is saying nobody can hear. Stan Albeck obviously wanting the technical foul. They'll start it over with a fresh 24 seconds. Pressy was on the floor. He was the sixth man. Brisbane had yet to leave. And Albeck contending six men on the floor, but doesn't get justice. Frantic. And the next sixth man, very vocal, the audience. Now Dawkins and Lear going at it away from the ball. 81-77, that's 6.50 to go. Birdsong with a bomb. Rebound Johnson. Questionable shot at that point. Plenty of time to run something. Doesn't go, but he drew the foul. So that's where the Nets have to control themselves in a sense. You have a flow going, but your judgment has to prevail. You can't just take quick shots because you think you're into the groove. Set something up. There was a mismatch with Lister down low on Darrell Dawkins. They may have been able to get it inside. Number three on King. And Marcus Johnson to the line, where he's four out of six. He has 17 points. What a rebound by Moncrief. Guess who? Sydney. No reactions there. Darrell Dawkins late getting in the lane. 
14 for Monty, 13 of the second half. 81-80 Nets, 625. And the Nets call time. Time out on the floor with the score. The Nets, 81, and the Bucks, 80. And they are going wild on the sidelines off to the Nets. The some fans out there dancing with the cheerleaders. There they are. Everybody getting into the act tonight. Look at this, Bill. <laughs> I thought that was an usher there. You know what that is? That's one of the great Nets fans, Jimmy Faulkner. And he's being ushered off by Daryl Garrison. He's got a big smile on his face. He might be the first fan to get a technical. Jimmy's, Jimmy's certainly diminishing the looks of that line. <laughs> Still conga line, remember that? Big hug. And Jimmy is trying to get the fans going. No trouble doing that tonight. It's been an electrifying affair, particularly this fourth quarter. Sparks flying. City Moncrief has just done so many good things for the Bucks. Key rebounds, goal, foul shots, whatever they needed. Richard set out the inbounds. The Nets have 15 on the timer. Birdsong, little trouble from Pressy inside now to Buck Williams. He's tied up. King from straight away. Gets the roll. Well, that's the stroke. He can get those when he's into his game. He's got nine all in the second half. 83-80 net. Six minutes midway through the fourth. Moncrief. Reverse. Oh, Jam Johnson. Just a sensational attempt. That goal, and you are seeing one of the great ones in the NBA. Chris Johnson with the follow-up. And Moncrief with the slap. The play. And it hit Richardson, who was still out of bounds. And right now, the Nets are not set up or organized. This is a sensational attempt at goal with Marcus Johnson getting the credit. But Sidney Moncrief drew two people to him. Once again, the reverse. Marcus Johnson is 19, and what a defensive play by Moncrief, followed by another jam by Johnson. He's got 21, and it's an 84-83 Bucks lead. King. Volleyball saved by Richardson. Back to King. Decides to move in closer, bottled up by Johnson. I think Daryl Dawkins may have gotten a piece of that tip to hit it out towards Michael Ray Richardson, and... The kick back to King, and of course they're all looking for the jump shot, putting it on the floor. Marcus Johnson with the foul. That's number four on Marcus. And to the line goes King, where he's one out of three. It has nine. He has tied it up. 84 apiece. Marcus Johnson with four fouls. And Albert King hits two clutch free throws to give the Nets the lead, 85-84. Now Otis Birdsong has to concentrate on Sydney. Here's Pressy with the ball. Off the wave to Bridgman. Johnson. Stripped of the ball, but a foul, a whistle, Richardson. That's his fourth. Quick hands. Hold on to your wallet when you walk, walk by Michael Ray Richardson. Almost got away with it. Stan Olbeck and John Kittle talk it over. And Marcus Johnson to the line. He's five for eight. Michael Ray's over there with Daryl Dawkins. They have to squeeze Sidney Moncrief as though he were a seven-footer. They can't relax. And Dawkins steps right in front of him, taking no chances. You're right. 23 for Johnson. And the Bucks regain the lead, 86-85. Five minutes to go. King leaning in. Well, he set up his man, maybe shoved Marcus Johnson, but brushed him off of Daryl Dawkins just to free himself enough for that jump shot. All of his 13 of the second half, the Nets are up, 87-86.
Moncrief off to Johnson. That's been the combination. Moncrief and Johnson. Right. Deadly. His ju jump shot had been missing all series. Right now, lighten it up. He has 25. And that's his high for the series. Previous high, 24. The Bucks by one. 4.20 to go. The hot man is king. Thought Nelson besides himself, but the Nets, they've been running that play for Otis Birdsong. Then with a back screen on King, he used the double. Albert King picking a good time to get hot. He's got 15. The Nets are up by one. The tip now swatted by Dawkins. The foot race is on. Birdsong's got it. He saves it and holds it up. They should wait for Dawkins. Give Darrell a chance to... And he drills it off Buck Williams' hand. I'm not so sure Otis Birdsong should have given him the basketball. Should have kept it himself to settle it. You never know what the big people are going to do once they get the ball. That was one of those take charge situations in which nobody did. 89-88. Nets 335. Dawkins bodied by Lanier and then pushed by Birdsong. And it went. It counts. And, of course, Lanier got away with the initial shove on Dawkins to free himself. And Otis Birdsong down underneath giving the foul. In the three-second lane, the right arm putting Dawkins on the floor. And, of course, the eventual pass and foul by Otis Birdsong. That's his fifth. Now, O'Corin replacing Williams. Interesting move. As Lanier goes to the line. Lanier two for two. He has 16. Right now the Bucks are playing small though, Steve. They've got all those interchangeable people on the floor. Four plus Lanier. And the Bucks by two. Paul can post up. Paul can handle. 91-89. 325 to go. And King lost the dribble. Moncrief off the steal. All the way. Good protection of the ball with the left hand. And it's 93-89. Bucks by four. The block by Pressy, the grab by Johnson. Alpec claims foul, no call. Now it's wide open. Moncrief underneath and Pressy. Quick timeout by Stan Alpec and a good run by the Bucks the last minute. Some tough shots. Albert King feeling he had been fouled on the last one, but uh, not good basketball. Bucks able defensively to do some things to disrupt the flow of the Nets basketball game. So the Bucks lead it by 6, 95-89, thanks to this steal. And then Moncrief just takes it all the way. Chris Bob Lanier on that play able to push enough to free himself and if the nets can come back and pull this out they're down by six game seven in milwaukee on sunday the balance of the season is hanging for the new jersey nets right now it was 24 23 nets after one 46 43 nets at the half 73 67 bucks after three here come the Nets, led by Otis Birdsong, Michael Ray Richardson, Albert King, Buck Williams, and Darryl Dawkins. The Bucks counter with Marcus Johnson, Bob Lanier, Paul Plessy, Junior Bridgman, and Sidney Moncrief. Moncrief and Johnson have been terrorizing the Nets here in the fourth. Should see the ball inside. Birdsong. In the docket. He goes inside for the reverse, drawing the foul. It's Lanier's fourth. Uh, when the Nets need it, they'll get it down there. It's an interesting point. Mentioning it all year. Look for the jump shot most of the time, but after a timeout or at a critical point, they'll go for it. And that was that left hand pushing along. Dawkins 12 for 12 from the line. He has 28. 13 for 13 has 29. And the Nets down by four again. 95, 91, 235 remaining. Marcus Johnson. Big rebound. Buck Williams. 
Down to Birdsong. They can cut it to two. Birdsong, the crossover, looks for help, finds King. King goes baseline. In and out. Buck Williams the rebound. One of the few offensive rebounds. A nice move by Albert King. Finished off by Buck Williams. Buck Williams with seven. 95-93 Bucks. Two-minute indication. Bridgman. Rebound King, and the Nets can tie it up. There's the clock. Lower right-hand corner. Third song. King. Richardson. Who will take it? Michael Ray on the drive. Pressy the foul. The giveaway by Pressy. Just a good read. Everybody cleared out that backside. A lot of players may have taken it to the strong side. Michael Ray patient enough to read it. Put it down with that left hand. Draw the attention of Paul Pressy. We're going to the line. Number three on Pressy. Richardson to the foul line. One for two tonight. He has seven. The Nets within one. We are tied again. 95-95. A minute and a half from in the fourth. And Buck Williams has quieted Marcus Johnson just a little bit. The overplay Richardson. That's his fifth. They go right to it. One thing about the Bucks, they've got anybody pinned, they look to get it in. And that, if anything, tells you a story about their club. So Paul Pressy to the line. First trip, only 66%. That hesitation gets all the way up to the top, stops and delivers. Very unusual. Oh, is the crowd giving him the treatment behind the backboard? He gets the roll, and it's 96 to 95. Bucks, a minute 20 left. Michael Ray Richardson yells out of play. The Nets can take the lead on this trip. Third song. Into Dawkins for the turnaround. No. Into the hands of Moncrief. Bob Lanier just pushed him out another step. This is Bridgman. Into Lanier. He's double teamed. They'll use the clock 10 on the timer. A collision between Lanier and Dawkins. Both going down. Pressy. Big one. Paul Pressy. And the Nets are calling for time. 41 seconds to go to Buck Williams. Back to King. Moving in on Marcus Johnson. The tip. No. The battle for the rebound. Buck Williams wins that battle. A fresh 24. Richardson. Got it. What a rebound by Buck Williams. 28 seconds left. One point game. 98-97 Milwaukee. Marcus Johnson checks the clock. Four point discre four second discrepancy between the game and shot clock. 13 seconds to go. Shot clock down to three. Pressy blocked. Taken. Oh, Moncrief at the buzzer. Rebound. Nets. Richardson losing. Moncrief has it. Two seconds. One. Jump ball. Time runs out. Wait a minute. Nets should be able to get some more seconds. Daryl Garrison says the game's over. Oh, what a way to end. Nets are just standing around, bewildered. And now fans are pelting the floor with debris. They can't believe it. It ends in shock.